Hey, what's going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today, I'm going to show you how to create a double exposure in Photoshop. Also, if you want to learn Photoshop like a pro, I prepared some really good domestic courses with designers who are experts in Photoshop. So if you want to check them out, click the link in the description and see what's going on. All right, so I'm going to experiment with this model. First thing to take in consideration, take a photo which is taken from the profile. So this is a profile picture. So for example, if you want to mix up uh, a portrait which is viewed from the front with a background image, then we're going to have some problems we're gonna, because the background image is going to mix up with the eyes, with the mouth, and it's going to look really, really weird. So a profile image is the best to go. Secondly, choose a background image with, with where basically the downside is dark and the, the upper part is getting white. So it's like this background image basically looks like a gradient. It's a cityscape, basically. You can search for cityscapes, you can search for some landscapes, I don't know. All right, I kind of unlock this image, click on this little thing, the unlock button, and I'm gonna go where the properties are. I'm gonna scroll down and you can see here, remove background. I'm gonna test this out. So this is a new feature. Uh, it won't work with all kind of images. For example, in this case, it worked out pretty good. It's not that bad. But let's say that you don't have this option. You have a, on an older version of Photoshop or you have a difficult image that won't crop out that well. So I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna select here the quick selection tool. And here you're basically gonna do it manually. You're gonna select the model however you want. Uh, you can also go to the select and mask there's like different options there, this is a transparency you can change the radius this is gonna make these edges more softer more smoother and click OK and from here we're gonna go here to the mask and click on it and it's basically gonna mask it out as you can see here so I'm gonna go back and do my thing with that background remove background Okay, I'm gonna scale this down, press Ctrl T, and I'm gonna make this smaller, the model. Bring it down. I'm gonna create a background, go to this option, solid color, and select 100% white, click OK. And I'm gonna pull this color down under the model. I'm gonna make the image black and white, go to the adjustment layer, select the black and white. From here, I'm gonna activate this, the cityscape. I'm gonna pull the cityscape under the black and white. I'm gonna press and hold Alt and go between the two layers. So we got the cityscape layer and got the model layer. So you go between and you're gonna see this arrow pointing down and just click. This way it selected basically the shape of the model and you can see the city inside. So we're gonna go to the blend, select. You can go with light, you can go with screen. The light works even better in this case. And also I'm gonna create a curve from the adjustment layers and mix up the contrast and Pull this back right, I'm gonna go to the, to the background and pull this a little bit down, like so. So as you can see, this one is, the upper part is more light, the downer part is getting darker. I'm gonna also try to select a different blend, screen. So the screen seems like uh, you're gonna get back some of, this, some of the face, you know. So I'm gonna change the contrast a little more see that so if i bring down the contrast then you can see more from the face so yeah you can experiment however you want it so yeah mainly this is it this is how you do it and yeah thanks for watching and if you're new in the channel don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end have a good one bye bye